In this video, I want to explain to you the entire journey from zero to hero of a front-end developer. So if you're a beginner, this video is gonna help you massively. It's gonna give you a bunch of tactics and mental models that you can use right now to get hired in 2022, 2023, and beyond. I'm 100% sure of that. So first, we need to start by defining what success is. If you're a beginner and if you're transitioning from a regular nine to five, if you're an accountant, working in finance, working as a medical assistant and whatnot, if you come from a non-traditional tech background, you'll have a few difficulties, which I'm going to explain to you in this video and I'm gonna help you overcome these issues, okay? So if you have a nine to five, a regular job, this video is gonna be for you, okay? The first thing that I want to mention to you is that success is not measured by how many books about coding have you read, how many tutorials have you seen, how many clones of Airbnb, of YouTube or whatnot are you making, but by actually sitting down in front of your computer and writing your own code. Surprise! As much as I understand that, that is a very difficult process to get started with, this is the most fundamental thing that you can do right now. Coding unlike other fields of study, is very, very much practical, okay? So for example, in medicine, if you wanna become a doctor, you'll be studying a lot of theory. You need to know everything about the human body and whatnot. And later, after years and years of study, you'll actually get to, you know, cut someone open and whatnot, you know, like you get to see that stuff that you've been studying for many years, right? But with coding, you can actually jump in straight into creating stuff from day one. Actually, when I work with a complete beginner, like they actually start coding from their first day. Why? Because coding is very, very practical. It's not something that you have to study for hours and days and whatnot. You can get in straight away and you can start coding. So that's how you measure success in coding by how many websites are you building? How many applications have you been building? How much time you spend on building one single thing? That's what success in coding is. And then obviously by improving this skill, by getting better at this skill, you create more complex things and at some point someone will notice you and will give you a chance and then that's how you start your career in tech. One thing that you need to understand is that if you get really good at something, then you get the freedom to become who you really want. Well, that I heard somewhere and it makes a lot of sense because if you come from like a job or a career where you don't really work with your mind necessarily, but you are doing the same mind numbing tasks every single day, you are doing some sort of donkey work, okay? And this work is respectable. We need donkeys in our society. I don't wanna disrespect you or whatnot. I was a donkey myself. I got into coding. I, I was hit with this realization that the hours that I'm putting in don't necessarily mean how good I'm getting or how much improvement I'm making or what kind of value I'm delivering to a company. So when I stopped being a developer like a few months ago, I wasn't really working eight hours a day. I was probably working one hour per day and then I had an hour or two of meetings per day. It took me like five years to get to this realization where I realized realization where I realized that the time that I'm spending it's not equal to the value that I'm producing. So when you transition from this regular non-tech field into tech, you'll want to go hard at it. You want to go, you know, eight hours a day, six hours a day. Maybe you were thinking to quit your job to do this full time, but that's the wrong approach. This is the wrong approach because you could be spending six hours in front of your computer and be totally unproductive. You could be watching tutorials and whatnot and you'll have nothing out of it. But with a few hours every single day, you'll actually get really good really, really fast. So you can do this on the side while you still have your nine to five. So I actually highly encourage you if you are thinking, oh, I want to quit my job for like six months or one year to learn coding, don't do that because it's the worst thing and the worst position to be in because if you do that, you'll be trapped and you'll be having to get the job right now. Otherwise, you know, you'll, you'll get no income and whatnot. It's a terrible place to be. It's going to give you a lot of scarcity, a lot of FOMO, and you'll become desperate and you won't have any leverage when you get to actually uh, be in front of an interviewer and ask for a bigger salary or negotiate and whatnot because you don't have any income. So the point of this 
is that you do not need to learn coding for crazy hours every day to become a developer. You can actually do it in one or two hours per day. But if you do it every day, over a long period of time, you'll, be, you'll become successful, okay? So, okay, the next thing is consistency. So let's define consistency because I talked about this and other coding influencers have talked about this, but the other people in the space that are telling you to be consistent, they are right. But you need to understand that most people in this space, they're regurgitating the same thing they've heard without having a very deep understanding of how consistency actually works. And me, personally, I have struggled with a lot of things, not just coding, but my health, going to the gym and all this stuff. And I started to put the pieces together and I want to show you how to actually get consistent and how to actually get to that point where coding is part of who you are and it's not something that you do on the side, okay? One of the biggest problems with consistency is that people go from not doing any coding into like, okay, I'm gonna code every day for the rest of my life, you know? Please! When people try to do that, when, they people, when people attempt to do that, after three, four days, they quit and then they don't code anymore, no matter what. So the problem there is that they set the goal too high. If you have seen any like obese person or someone that's extremely unfit going to a crash diet for like five days or seven days, they won't be able to be consistent with that and then they relapse and they start eating again, okay? A lot and they put all the weight plus a little bit more. So what I realized as I was going through my fitness journey, let's say, that will help you massively with getting to that six figures career is this. If you are consistent one day per week, you'll be consistent four days a month. That doesn't sound like much, but next month, if you are consistent two days a week, then you are consistent eight days per month. Then the next month, if you are consistent three days a week, then you are consistent 12 days a month. That's like 40% of the month where you've been coding, you've been coding 40% of the month, right? Now, the cool thing is that this consistency, it's not growing linearly. Even though I just described it to you linearly, it's gonna start growing exponentially. So you start with one day per week in the first month, and then the next month you'll be doing two days per week, yeah? But then the third month, you start going five, five days per week, right? That's an exponential growth. And then in the fourth month you go, every single day okay you start coding every single day and that's how you become consistent because consistency is about long term not about like crash course seven days i'm gonna go and kill it it doesn't work like that and you'll become burnt out really really quick you have to trust me with that so i've done that with my fitness journey and i realized hey i've been consistent with my diet for three days then suddenly i stayed four days then five days then now i'm at around six days so I'm consistent six days and I'm seeing crazy, crazy results because that was an important mind shift that I had. So this is how consistency actually works. If you keep in mind coding, like, oh, I should be coding, I should be coding, I should be coding. That's also consistency, okay? Even though you might feel bad that you're not coding and whatnot because you wanna get to that career where you make six figures and whatnot, you still have that idea in your mind. And at some point you're looking back six months uh, into the past and then you see oh I actually have been coding quite a lot and that's how you build some healthy habits it's not just about being disciplined for like a week and whatnot and then you quit and you relapse and you go back to your shitty job it's not about that it's about making a long-term change where you don't need to rely on discipline I just mentioned discipline but you do not need to rely on discipline because discipline is not good you need to create an environment where you actually want to change and want to code and you are looking forward to this, you know, this moment you come home from work, you are commuting on one dot, you're coming home from work, you open your laptop and you start typing code and you see like the progress, you see how you create websites, how you create applications from nothing and you see that progress and you become proud of yourself. And when you become proud of yourself, you wanna code more, you wanna work more, you wanna improve and whatnot everything just gets like pushed to the limits because consistency is not about like a on-off switch, like true or false, are you consistent or not? It's about how consistent are you?
And if you just start with a very, very basic level of consistency, you can always push it up, okay? So that's another tip for you. Now, if we go back to that quote that says, if you get really good, then you can become who you really want to be. So let's say you are in this six figures career, you are becoming really valuable, your skill set is becoming extremely valuable and rare because you keep adding things, you keep finding mentors that know different things and you start to become a very valuable person, then you'll be able to negotiate and you'll have a lot of leverage because let's say you have this crazy skill and you know this thing, let's say you know how to build a specific part of an application, then people will literally, or companies will pay you literally tens of thousands of dollars to solve a problem for them. And then you can say, okay, I'll do that. And um, I just need three, three months to do that. And I'll let you know when I'm done. Maybe that sounds crazy to you, but if you become a freelancer, or if you become like a top person, a top developer, a top architect, then you can do stuff like that. So you can be like, okay, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll do this for you. This is the bill. Okay, this is the invoice paid and uh, I'll see you in three months and I'll deliver to you the thing. Okay, or you know what I mean, right? You can go to Thailand, you can go to Bali, do your thing from there. You know how to do it properly. It might take you two days to finish the entire thing. You give them like a three month deadline after a month or after a week of testing of the thing that you've created, you give it back. And then they are happy, they recommend you, they want to work more with you and whatnot. You just become this extremely valuable person that has a rare skill set that a lot of people need. And a lot of people are willing to pay you a lot of money for it. And they're willing to let you do it however you want to do it. If this sounds crazy to you, I understand. But you need to understand my perspective where I've been in that position and I was able to do it. So I'm not sharing with you things that are crazy that I've never done before, but this is a reality. And there are a lot of people like that. For example, in my first company, we had to deploy this application and then we hired the specific guy from Colombia, then we paid him or the company paid him a few thousand dollars to fly to London to be with us to deliver the thing. And then the guy went back to Colombia. So we paid him a lot of money to do that. Why? Because he was valuable. So he was able to do whatever he wants with his life. He had this freedom because he was in big demand. The next thing that I want to tell you is that focus is extremely important. So I heard this quote that says, a focused fool can accomplish more than a distracted genius. Why is that? Well, if you are focused, you are consistent. You know what you want. You know what are your goals. You know what you're running for then you'll dedicate 100% of your time towards improving. You learn the skills, you build applications, you'll apply to jobs every day, you'll network relentlessly with people, you'll get where you want. It's almost impossible if you are focused, like laser focus. Delete social media, <laughs> delete your friends. It sounds extreme, but if you want crazy results, you need to take crazy action. You cannot be normal. Okay, if you want to get out of your current self. Your current self is not satisfying you anymore. That's why you're looking for a way out. And you need to understand that. You have to be focused. I guarantee you that if you pay attention to everything I said in this video, you'll be absolutely crushing it. And the last thing that you need if you want to become successful is a mentor. Why do you need a mentor? Because there is always room for growth. If you think you're good, 100% happy for you. But there is always room for growth. There are always blind spots. There are always things that are missing that you don't know exactly, okay, I'm doing this, is this the right thing? And instead of like wondering if that's the right thing, you can just get a confirmation, either a yay or a nay. So if you have a mentor, someone that you can ask all the time, hey, am I going to the right place? It's like a GPS. Imagine going from Paris to Berlin. Without the GPS, are you, you have to take all the roads. You need to figure out, like looking at the sun and the, at the moon, to figure out where the North Pole is and whatnot. You need to come with a compass. Uh, you need to like pretty much guess how to get there. But if you have a GPS, you have a Google Maps, and you are in a nice car, you can, you can get there in like a few hours, maybe five, six hours. I don't know exactly, but you can get there in five, six, seven hours, let's say one day, or you can take months or years just to figure out all the possible roads that could take you from Paris to Berlin. So remember, there's always room for, for growth. If you think that's not the case, then 
I'm just sorry for you. If you think you are really the best, I don't think I'm the best. But if you really think you are the best, you already lost the game. Because there are other people better than you out there that are willing to work harder than you, that have mentors, that are pushing towards, you know, like making multiple six figures, not just six figures, because if you think about it, six figures right now is like laughable in this industry. You can make half a million, even more per year. Imagine how crazy that is. I never made those sums myself because I don't plan to become a better developer. But there are people out there that are making multiple six figures per year. And trust me, they didn't learn this stuff from YouTube or Udemy. Even though they might say that, so it sounds good, I can tell you they've learned from mentors in their job, they went to courses, like in-person courses, seminars and whatnot, conferences, they network heavily, and they gain knowledge from other people, okay? Instead of just watching a Udemy course like this. In reality, if you think about it, this is how the regular developer's life actually looks like. Check this out. So yeah, if you like this video, please like it. If you want mentorship, coaching and guidance, I literally have a six months money back guarantee. So I'm gonna help you get into a high paying career really quick, really fast in the most efficient way possible. And to see if you are a good fit for that, apply for a free consultation call. The link is in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.